Skansen in Stockholm is many things. It's a large park covering 75 acres or 30 hectare. It is an open-air heritage museum with historical buildings and farmsteads and it has a small zoo with native Nordic animals. It's a very popular in midsummer as a spot for family picnics and for collectively celebrating the longest day of the year. The barnacle geese were taking full advantage of any leftover picnic crumbs. There was a market street of stalls offering traditional Swedish articles from the red wooden horses to a wide selection of cushion covers with designs from all over Sweden. There was even dried meat from moose, reindeer and bear. A midsummer essential was Swedish strawberries. Making and wearing crowns with seven different flowers is part of the midsummer tradition. Skansen had provided plenty of flexible branches for the basic crown, but flowers were in short supply. And there were notices on their wildflower meadows asking people not to pick any from there. Wearing the crown was to prepare for the next part of the tradition which was to dance around a newly erected maypole and then to bob up and down in a so-called frog dance. In early afternoon, many of the zoo's animals were sensibly hiding away in the shade. But the reindeer were active, well aware of their scheduled feeding time. The reindeers are the only member of the deer family who both male and female wear antlers. And they shed antlers every year. Males in midwinter and females after their cops in spring. Where they feed mostly on lichen, which is the food that is spreading up right now. <laughs> and the lichen contains no calcium, but a high on energy and water. And uh, they need to eat as much as possible to build up a thick layer of fat so they can survive the cold winter. In the summer, the reindeers wander up on the mountains. So they eat a lot of food in the summer and not so much in the winter. And the main predators for the reindeer here in Sweden are the brown bear, the wolf, the wolverine and the lynx. And the brown bear is the largest predator here in Sweden. And the clicking sound comes from a tendon that moves over a small bone in the hind feet. So if the herd gets trapped in bad weather and cannot see each other, they can still hear each other. The old farms and houses at Skansen had been dismantled and transported from all over Sweden. There are about 150 dwellings to view, many with period furnished interiors. Red was a common exterior colouring using a traditional preserving paint from the north of the country, which got its hue from copper. The oldest building was a 14th century storehouse. As well as traditional Swedish music, there were guest performances from a lively Irish folk group. Many traditional craftsmen could be seen with their work, from a blacksmith to a bookbinder and a potter, plus many more. 
Håll hellre den så. Så. Ja, det blir bättre så du riktar den något uppåt. Där tar du emot den där på andra hand. Ja. Tack så mycket. Det är så smått. 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 Refreshment facilities were not forgotten, with both indoor restaurants and outdoor bench seating. One traditional dish, originally for forestry workers, was called a charcoal bun, where small pieces of well-salted fatty bacon are placed in a hot frying pan and then covered with a batter of flour and water. I have to say that adding a ladle full of lingonberries much improved the dish. There was plenty for children to do with both modern facilities as well as more traditional ways of letting off steam. The easiest way up and down the park's hill was by its cable-driven funicular. <laughs>